I mean, open your third eye, everybody. It's about to get real <laughs> metaphysical around here. When you. I think of somebody who's you know connected to the spiritual realm and grounds themselves regularly, I think of Alex Jones right off the. What's right really off the top. What's really useful for getting in touch with the spiritual realm is when your career sort of flatlines because of sort of reputational damage and and uh, financial you have to damage. Become an asset to like sort of let's say Cantor Fitzgerald Acquisition Corporation Number Six, also known as a Rumble. Oh. Oh, I thought you were talking about Jones there, but uh, but no, but, both no, of them. but yeah, yeah, yeah but, but, but let's be clear. When, there is a uh, it is a measure of like just where you've come uh, when you become like when you when you when you basically are uh, using Alex Jones as a sort of glide path to, to to enhance your audience. It's hard to know who's doing who a favor here. Well, that's true, but I do think, like you know, like I I remember um, when uh, Greenwald was doing a so-called interview, uh, oh God, yeah, a, a, it, which was uh, basically a publicity junket. I'm sorry, I, I've I've been to mo uh, film festivals. I know exactly what goes on when you interview a subject of a documentary afterwards, and also say compliment him on his appearance well just you know little, you could be complimentary but to say specifically like my big controversy here is i'm not going to ask you the obvious questions that a journalist would ask you here because it just, you know as some form of defiance i'm <laughs> not going to ask you about the fact that you just uh, that you you know are a Pending uh, judgment uh, about you about it, lying about, about lying kids. about uh, you know, yeah. some of the horrible most horrible things anyways but anyways it is interesting thing to um to mark because yeah uh you know alex jones is a uh is a uh, is a freak and there's always i guess you know some titillating aspect of having freaks on but to pretend it's anything other than that and to sort of like uh try and you know garner uh this guy's sort of ailing empire uh of audience uh, it's pretty embarrassing and with that said i give you uh russell brand and alex jones I feel like you have suffered a lot and I feel that you have a lot of power in you and I wonder how you Stop it. So Can I just say like I would love for Sam to be talked to by Russell Brand in that, way, in that exact same way. Yeah. <laughs> You've suffered a lot. You have a lot, <laughs> you have of, a power lot of power in you. In you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's about time like somebody did. <laughs> You have suffered a lot, and I feel that you have a lot of power in you. And I wonder how you align the necessity for surrender in order that we may convey a great, ever-present, omnipresent, omniscient Jones. wisdom accessible to all of us if we are clear with your own rather robust individualism. I wonder if you ever feel fracture and crisis within yourself. I wonder if even under attack you've ever thought about ending your own life. I wonder if you've ever been concerned that you are mentally ill. I wonder if you've ever felt hopeless and desperate given the escalation of these crises and the way that you have been attacked. <laughs> You know, God does things to me. I'll just say this. I'm not trying to brag. It's just you ask the question. <laughs> I'll wake up at 335 in the morning or whenever it is. And God will say, the spirit will say to me. Well, can I just say you know, one thing? Like, it, you know, <laughs> we've had guests on this show. Well, at least one I can think of who I, I felt like after the interview, I'm like, that person is, is is um, mentally and emotionally unstable and um and you know had i had that idea beforehand i i, I wouldn't have invited them on because i i just don't um it's obviously not healthy for them and it's not like what's the what's the point of that mm -hmm. um and i don't know if if russell brandt in asking that question is acknowledging, I think you're a little bit off, mentally off, um, as some way of like, sort of like, but you know what? Why are you having him on? I'm going to say, yeah, like, if you need guidance the, in this, you don't want to be hearing where, from Alex Jones and what's Russell the, Brand. Well, yeah, what's the value though? Like, what is the value? Like, I mean, you know, honestly, like, I, you know, particularly if you um, are out there trying to sort of espouse a political ideology and, you know, being a truth teller. If you think this guy is emotionally um, uh, unstable and is, you know, potentially uh, suicidal, like what are, what are we to learn from this? 
Like, what is it that you're doing here? Well, he's um, trying to essentially, I mean, I take it in a way that's almost uh, congratulatory towards Jones. Like, the weight of the things that you have uncovered must be so heavy, and the, and the res- response that you've gotten from the public yeah. is just so much to bear. Have you ever been able, have you ever thought about taking your own life? Because, by the way, you have a $1 billion judgment against you, and that's not going away anytime soon. It's also, you know, to perceive that as an attack. Right. It'll be really like, you know, when you when you're found liable for lying about something like that and ruining the lives of people, it's a little bit weird to perceive that as an attack. But they're they're loose colleagues at this point. Right. Because Alex Jones is doing regular appearances on Crowder's program on Rumble. They're part of the same state. They're stable mates now. But yeah, it's like, I mean, that's how I would talk. Like, I I wouldn't ask Ilan Pappy if he would have considered suicide. But I'm like, you've been through a lot. Would you like to reflect on that a little bit? Yeah, we'll talk to Alex Jones about that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ilan Pappy has like, there's a reason why you bring on somebody like that because they have like, you know, some, uh, there's some like, uh, knowledge to impart wisdom. Yeah. Uh, I, does anybody really think that Alex Jones has some type of insight into something? Um, well, uh, I mean, I mean, Besides he's now in. Audience. He's now found his his third eye. You know, I found my third eye. I also I know a lot about trying to hide assets from a a judgment. That is one of the things I could actually give some advice on. I haven't. I'm fully perfected it. What is his answer again? I forget. Go ahead. Let's go. That's the question. I'll wake up at three thirty-five in the morning or whenever it is, and God will say, the Spirit will say to me. You know I'm completely real. Whoopsie. I want you to get up and walk into the kitchen, and it it's going to be 336. I know I want you to form your LLC in Wyoming. <laughs> this has happened to me hundreds of times, hundreds since I was a little kid. And I walk in, and it's always the exact number. Now, you can say, well, I've got an inner clock, whatever. Yeah. We know that butterflies can fly from central Mexico all the way to central Canada and then lay their eggs and then fly all the way back how does it know how to go to mexico well how does it know how to go three thousand miles it knows how to do it or 2800 miles seen documentaries on it it has magnetic cones and rods in its little tiny brain that operate off the electromagnetic fields of the earth but they also have uh ancestral memory no. uh, as well that's been passed on and so the magnetics. their bodies are a third dimensional <laughs> manifestation you don't think it's of that spirit energy and so that energy is even in them that's how the ducks, the geese know how to do it. That's how hummingbirds can fly from uh, Georgia all the way to Guatemala, little bitty birds over the ocean, thousands of miles, and land in the same tree that they were born in or the same tree that their parents were born in, okay? So so that's the power of this. That's it all Sir, spiritual this is and uh, Indeed. tuning into the fact that- I lie about the same killing a bunch of kids that my parents did like what is this what are we talking about well how is this? i have a third eye yeah how, how does this map on to his experience well let's let, you gotta let him finish humans have massive amounts of cones and rods the only other thing that has more of them is whales i mean you know the dolphin's brain's way bigger than humans and they're incredible and and, and so you have to understand that that we have all this we're a transceiver and the priest class has tried to get in front of this relationship with the universe and God, and, and then they create these dogmas to control people instead of going directly to God. Stay free. <laughs> so that, that's it? Oh, this was that the was promotional it, yeah. clip that uh, Russell Brand put out. Um, rods and cones are a, uh, uh, in the eyeball. And yeah, that's about, exactly yeah. what yeah, they're attached I was by. thinking about. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> I, love the idea, I love the idea that... Um, Butterflies have ancestral memory. Yeah, right. Well, like, they have generational like, trauma. You reference to like they're sort of like internal, like the geospatial awareness with regards to like magnetics and stuff like that. And then also say, also their memories live in their cells. Right. It's like no, it's not that. I mean, honestly, it really is like the the uh, two steps away from Scientology, right? Where like you have another two? being living within you. I mean, honestly, one step away, or maybe worse. 
Scientology makes more sense than this. Like he's like, like you've you've been through a lot of public, and I'm as I'm doing some Scientology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you've been through a lot. How have you gotten through? It's like, well, I think of how birds migrate to South America. Well, I mean, if if what you're saying about the rods and cones being in your eye is applicable here, perhaps he's talking about his whole body becoming a third eye. Um, and you too can have this experience if you buy my supplement, Brain Force or whatever. Unbelievable. That's the spiritual. I like experience. how dogma can get in the way of the uh, hardware that can tap into the fundamental truth of the universe and the rods and cones in our brains. Yeah. Like it just takes a little bit of a media flim flab to get in the way of those, like things that apparently we have in our brain. Also, a spiritual- one of the ways, incidentally, I should say, in hiding your assets yeah. is also through magnetics. Spirituality you block does the rods not- and cones of the uh, asset uh, <laughs> evaluators. Spirituality does not equal narcissism. Just a, just a pro tip for people who might be consuming Russell Brand or Alex Jones. Uh, spirituality is a separate thing that does not have to do with like your own delusions of grandeur. Uh, the reason why I set up uh, shell companies in Wyoming and then uh, filtered that through an estate that I uh, set up in um, an offshore account <laughs> is because of ancestral memories <laughs> that uh, forced me to do that. I had no idea I was even doing it. The, the magnets draw him to the Cayman Islands? Well, the magnets do that partly, but mostly it's more like <laughs> ancestral memories uh, guide me to this type of financial structure to evade a, uh, a judgment. Like the tree Ancestral where his memory. father was born in. Yes. My rods and cones are lighting up, and I think these kids are child are crisis actors. I returned to the same offshore account that uh, my parents had. <laughs>